Hello and welcome to Southern RPG. I am Sovereign. We're back today in Soul Mask. I'm going to do a little bit of a base tour on everything that we've built so far and the plans going forward. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a scenic tour at the beginning of the video. This is the first time I've ever tried doing something like that, so hopefully it was worth doing. And let's go through what each of the things and how I designed them and how I built them. And then later on today, I will be releasing a building video on how to do the circular buildings and how to sort of connect it and make it look a little bit better. So let's head into the entry building here. We do have this bonfire which i've just set one of the guys to fulfill because i have the bronze brazier out there the bonfire out there that's being used to build that so sax is actually going to fill that in soon this front area is just going to be where the boxes are for people to drop off their goods when they're bringing from one place to another and then when it goes into here it will go into the different crafting areas i've got uh some guys we actually lost a couple of guys i've only got six guys now uh i got I went to go do that Slayer X dude and lost a couple of them and then I lost the guy that I was playing as. I can actually get him later on because I did save him luckily, the main guy, but uh, we're going to have to go do that at some point in the future. I'll do a video on resurrecting the thralls after they died and what you have to do to get that going. Right, this room is the building room. This room has got all of the, the places, the things that you need for building. And it's got all the boxes set up to have all of the items that they need. They put in the planks inside there. They're the, we have all of the materials we need. We have the logs and stuff to make more planks. We've got absolutely crap loads of planks. I don't think I'm going to need any more than that. These guys have been working their asses off. We have our potting table and our grinder over here for the upgrades. And I still haven't finished off the cooking room. We have got the cut, uh, cutter table, butcher's table in here. I, for some reason something happened with the server and it turned my bonfire off at some point so a lot every building is damaged so i went and made a hammer for one of the thralls to go around and start repairing everything hopefully he'll start to go and do that at some point he's started to do bits of them luckily there's bits that have been repaired but it's going to take some time over in this room we have our mask room and the beds where they go to sleep we're going to get a couple more beds in here i'm going to do this room as well i'll do a video on what i'm going to be doing with that room and we have our main craft room there was some comments in the last video that you have to upgrade the stations i have upgraded the stations there will be more upgrades but i don't need them currently the state the it, but where i am in the game right now i only need the tier one because we're only in bronze tier i will be once this base is completed i'm going to build a teleport here i've got a couple of the parts i'm still missing one part i couldn't find it in the dungeon that's over there at the back by the cave i'll have to try and find that go deeper in there was some places where i needed to flick switches and try to open some extra doors so we will try and get that and i'll be have a teleport here and then i'll find another place to build another base Somewhere in the mountains, probably. I want to do a different design than this one, although I do love this one. And we have the bridges going off. Now, all of these parts underneath, they are all built with pillars. There's no foundations underneath. I only have the foundations for the first original section. And then the rest of it is all done on pillars to give it a sign of a dock feel, a built on the river, like a town on the river type feel. And we're using the wood and the thatch. I think it looks better than having the wood and wood. And I think it will look better as well with the stone and thatch. I just love the thatch roofs on things in general, like the old school con uh, country house feel. Now we have the brown, the brazier, the brown brazier, the bronze brazier in the middle here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area just yet i might leave it open as this is the area that they'll gather put some chairs and stuff here and we have this statue of the gods which actually in the pvp server will protect anything within that area on the times at least i believe i haven't used it on a pvp server yet it's got a shelter area see if we can large range it so it's got large medium and small areas so i'm guessing this is for actually protecting some stuff during pvp times like what they had in myth of empires but i'll have to double check that on a server that we're playing on for sure because we've only just started playing properly on a pvp server i managed to fix my internet so i can actually play on the online servers right so on this side we have our turkey coop and our capybara pen we have the turkeys in here breeding and we have an overabundance of capybaras i'm not sure why they're not killing them but they are because i'm getting all of the stuff that we needed for the farms so if we go in here we're getting all the feces we're getting blood we're getting the hide and beast hide and stuff now we're finally getting all that stuff in abundance so we'll be able to start crafting more stuff uh, in general because that was something that I had to go out and do myself and I wanted to kind of automate that within this area. 
And we have our farm on this side. We did move the uh, granary over here because I'm going to put some more farms in here to craft some more things. And uh, there was a comment in the last thing that I kept saying, Kanoa, it's quinoa. I, I literally, I remember it being called that, but like it's something that I don't eat. So I wouldn't know anything about that. So thank you for correcting me on that one. And lastly, I kind of wanted to build a shrine. Now, what is like an aztec -y type thing? Eventually, I want to build a stone pyramid at the end of this, that this builds up to the stone pyramid so we have our own pyramid that's kind of similar to the ones that we have where we go inside of them and get masks etc so i definitely want to try and build something like that it will take a lot longer with the stone because this is like everything that is happening on here is getting done by me gathering and my npcs gathering and crafting and building that's why it's, it's quite easy with the wood it will be a lot harder with the stone so what we did was actually get some of these like bonfires and we put the torches standing up around to light it up during the night time and i put some of those fire standing torches like these ones here the standing fire bowls i put them on top of the pillars to make it sort of give it a little bit of an extra look as we go up here and this is where like kind of what they wanted to worship originally i did have the statue of the gods up there however i think there will be a much more like realistic reason for resurrecting the dead to like worship this the mask the mysterious stone tablet and with the extra level one piece you're able to resurrect your um like so if we go into inside you get to resurrect who you have saved in here I will do a separate video on how to save that fully. But you're going to remodel and we have our guy saved here and it takes two green crystals and 400 mask energy to be able to resurrect him because he has a uh, pretty decent stats. It's not the best in the world, but it's the best one I've got because he's got pretty damn decent uh, uh, the thing. There's no bad things there and when i was using him over a certain amount of time he started even getting even better by like there was adjustments so they were adding traits and taking the negative traits away depending on what you were doing it added a trait where you could like if you hit so many tails then you get the tier one of hitting tail and you do extra tail damage etc it's actually pretty cool and this is sort of the look on the like the thing itself now when it comes to these buildings I can just extend these out one more or I can just open up one of these walls and build another circle and have like uh, for instance when we're doing it and we have to upgrade these to tier 2 and tier 3 on these they're gonna these are gonna be a lot bigger we can just have a section that goes off in one direction and have the furnaces upgraded in there another section going off it will go off in that direction and we can have the armor crafting the weapon crafting and have it just build out that's why I like doing the circles because you can just build out having everything in sort of one circle squared direction it's just not appealing to me and a lot of people say it's just like uh, you can't fit anything in there i can and i will and i'll just extend it out i'll just extend it out more have another circle extend it out more have another circle and have it kind of like a honeycomb shape have it like a beehive so that is something that's definitely we're able to do but this is the first time i've kind of done a base tour so i hope that like you enjoyed it i hope you was able to find out some information and give you some ideas on how you're able to build i will do a building video exactly how to build this kind of thing and we'll build it from scratch together so hopefully let me know down in the comments of something that you'd like i want to thank you all for watching i am sovereign this is sovereign rpg one-stop shop to all your survival gaming content fly safe and avoid local chat scams